Aubrey Graham, aka Drake. Um. Dot he's Drake? Degrassi's most successful alum. Aubrey Graham is better known as Drake, the rapper who has sold over 170 million records worldwide, won four Grammys, released several major chart-topping records, won Artist of the Decade at the 2021 Billboard Music Awards, served as the global ambassador for his hometown, Toronto Raptors and is basically one of the most famous people in the world. But for fans of the long-running series, he'll always be Jimmy Brooks, the basketball star who was paralyzed in Degrassi's infamous shooting episode, Time. Stands still. Later on in the series, Graham's musical skills were put to good use, as Jimmy pursued a career as a rapper, never forget, shut up girl in. McKemmy lunch, before deciding to undergo a stem cell surgery. Last seen in season 8, Jimmy planned on proposing to his girlfriend Trina. Drake staged the ultimate reunion in 2018 for his I Am Upset music video, which has over 95 million views on YouTube. The power of the class of 2007. Sharing son Adonis with ex Sophia Brousseau. The superstar revealed the first photo of his now four-year-old child in March 2020. Nina Dobrev. Her character Mia Jones, a teen mom turned model, was less than well received. She was basically the cause of fan favorite JT's tragic death. But when she left the series in season 9, it is because she landed the lead role on the CW smash hit The Vampire Diaries, which she starred on for six seasons before announcing her exit in 2015. In addition to appearing in films such as The Perks of Being a Wallflower, XXX, the return of Xander Cage and Flatliners, Dobrev returned to TV in 2019 too. Stare in the CBS sitcom Fam, which won her the 2019 Teen Choice Award for Choice TV Actress Comedy. After romances with her TVD co-star Ian Summerhalder and Grant Mellon, Dobrev began dating Olympian Sean White in March 2020. They are genuinely so in love and are so cute together. It's very sweet, a source told E! News of the couple in December. They openly talk about their future together. They're just super happy, and things are going really well with them. Miriam McDonald. Mature and slightly uptight Emma Nelson was the reboot's female-led as she was the child of the original series fan favorite, Spike. On the series, Emma went through it all. Anorexia, gonorrhea, marijuana use, to name but a few, before exiting the show in season 9 following her wedding to Spinner. We still haven't gotten over that random coupling. Emma and Sean FTW. After taking a break from acting, McDonald appeared on Lost Girl in Orphan Black, which was a who's who of Degrassi alumni, and has worked as a real estate agent and yoga instructor. Lauren Collins. One of TV's best mean girls, Collins Page had one of the show's most iconic catchphrases, hun. That one word said so much. She also tackled some of the series' boldest storylines, dealing with subjects of rape, bisexuality, oh hey, Alex, and becoming the first character to burn down her dorm room. Last we heard of Paige, she was working in Hollywood and had finally reconciled with Marco after their falling out in the movie. Following Degrassi, Collins served as the host of MTV's One Girl Five Gays, and has appeared on The Kroll Show, The Strain, Impulse, The Hot Zone and What We Do in the... After marrying actor Jonathan Mallon in October 2018, Collins welcomed their hun son Charlie in March 2020. Jake Epstein. The series' original bad boy, Epstein played Craig Manning, the bipolar musically inclined Degrassi stud, who dated Ashley, got Manny pregnant, trashed a hotel room, became a famous singer and developed a coke problem during his tenure on the series. But we still have one unanswered lingering question about Craig. Did he and Ellie end up together? We need closure. As of late, Epstein has taken to the stage, starring in Broadway productions such as Spider-Man, Turn Off the Dark and Beautiful, the Carol King musical. He also starred in the first national tour of American Idiot and has played the romantic lead in several Lifetime Christmas movies. Next, Epstein joins the Umbrella Academy for the Netflix series' third season. In 2018, Epstein married Vanessa Smythe. Cassie Steele.
One of the show's most beloved characters, Steele's Manny was Emma's trusty sidekick turned school hottie and the focus of one of the series' most controversial episodes ever when she got an abortion in season 3. Manny, who romanced spinner, Craig and Jay during her nine-season run, ended the series as a successful actress in Hollywood, and we're pretty sure her infamous topless video never leaked onto TMZ. Phew. Since leaving Degrassi, Steele starred in the CW's outrageously short-lived series The LA Complex, Rest in Peace, and launched a career as a musician. Steele recently voiced Tammy Guterman in Rick. Sponsored links by Tabula. 24 celebrities who married their mistresses. Hi Tally. Adamo Ruggiero. Ruggiero joined the cast of Degrassi as fan favorite Marco Del Rossi in 2002 after initially auditioning for Craig. When in doubt kiss Craig. Becoming the show's first gay character and taking part in one of the first LGBTQ kisses on Canadian television two years later. After graduating from Degrassi, Ruggiero remained on the show for one season when they tried to follow some of the characters to college, and he returned in later seasons as a teacher. Full circle. In 2008, Ruggiero came out, explaining Marco's struggles to come to terms with his sexuality on the show often mirrored his own in real life, with some of Marco scenes taken from his real conversations with family members. Maybe it's life imitating art, or maybe that's what Degrassi intended to do. I feel like I am living proof of what the show wanted to accomplish, Ruggiero, who is an LGBTQ activist, told Etoc Canada at the time. From 2008 until 2012, Ruggiero hosted the Canadian reality competition series The Next, and hosted his own web series, Straight Talk with Adamo Ruggiero, where he interviewed his former co-stars. Shane Kippel. Kippel starred as Spinner in over 180 episodes of the show, surviving a fallout with his entire group of pals after he inadvertently caused Jimmy to get shot. Along with a cancer battle, ending his run on the show married to Emma and managing the dot. He was one of the few original cast members to appear in Netflix's Degrassi. Next class. Following his run on the show, Kippel remained close with many of his former co-stars, including Drake, and is still acting while working as a musician and it could not have been more natural. Kippel told E! News of the cast's interactions in Drake's I Am Upset video. The energy that was caught on camera. Nothing of that was played up for effect. That was how we were really feeling being in each other's presence, so I am happy it translated how it looked, on camera exactly how it felt when the cameras stopped rolling. Stacy Farber. Farber's character Ellie Nash, coolest name ever, was one of the series' best, in our humble opinion, thanks to her awesome sense of style and journalism. After leaving Degrassi in season 8, Farber starred on the short-lived series 18 to Life, and has made appearances on hit shows like Unreal and Shits. Creek, which was created by her best friend Daniel Levy. I auditioned for Alexis and screen tested for Stevie. She wrote in an Instagram caption, but Rachel was mine goddammit, named for my mom duh, and besides, I much prefer the role I've had, watching him thrive off camera. Farber is currently appearing on Superman. Still close with Drake, the rapper once dubbing her his Penny Lane. NBD. Sponsored links by Tabula. Villa's prices in Dubai might be cheaper than you think. Villas in Dubai. Daniel Clark. Sean Cameron made being bad look so good. Come on, the white tank, the drag racing, the eyebrows. No wonder both Emma and Ellie fell head over heels for Sean, who eventually enlisted in the Canadian Army. Aside from a small supporting role in Juno opposite Elliot Page, Clark left the acting world behind. After graduating from New York University, Clark went on to work as a news reporter on Fusion TV's America with Jorge Ramos and as a producer at ABC News. Degrassi fans were upset when Clark was left out of the I Am Upset reunion, with Clark commenting on Drake's Instagram, writing to his former co-star. Really sad I missed this. Brought back some amazing memories. Miss and love you brother. Shanae Grimes. Degrassi's first star to make the move to Hollywood. Grimes landed the juicy role of Annie Wilson, 
aka the new Brenda Walsh, in the CW's 90210 reboot. But, fans of the series remember her as Darcy, the super-religious cheerleader, who was raped in season 7. In one of the series' most memorable send-offs. Purely because of how random it was, Darcy left Degrassi, and boyfriend Peter, for Kenya. Since 90210 ended, Grimes married British model Josh Beach. The couple welcomed a daughter, Bowie Scarlett, in September 2018 and announced in February that they were expecting their second child, who she gave birth to in August 2021. The 31-year-old also blogs about fashion, motherhood and more on Lost in La La and has starred in projects such as Scream 4 and The Detail. She recently launched her own podcast, Unzipped, with her 90210 co-star Anna Lynn McCord. Sarah Barable Tishauer. In another version of Life Imitating Art, Barable Tishauer graduated as valedictorian from Concordia University, a few years after her character Liberty Van. Zantvas named the valedictorian of Degrassi. We love that for both of them. Since graduating from university, the 31-year-old, who uses the stage name Me Time, works as a DJ and advocate who engages dance music as a catalyst for social change, according to her website. She also worked as an account manager at a marketing company and talked about balancing her two careers in an interview with Refinery29 in 2017. You can probably imagine having a 9-to-5 job and also DJing until 3 a.m. is kind of a difficult thing to balance, so I've just tried to keep my gigs in weekends and just a couple times of month because I just don't have a lot of time, she said. So, it's kind of like I live this dual-life marketing by day, base by night, but I am really loving it. In May 2020, she got engaged to her boyfriend Ryan. Sponsored links by Tabula. Janet Jackson's son is all grown up. Sizzle fee. Ryan Cooley. No, we can't look at Cooley without crying over his fan favorite character JT. York's death in season 6. Okay. Now that we've got that out of the way. After his heartbreaking exit from the show, Cooley made an appearance on Lost Girl and starred in Oh No. It's an alien invasion before leaving the acting world behind. He's now the vice president of Conrad Group, a global digital agency, which Snake, his former media teacher, would probably take credit for. Cooley got engaged to his girlfriend Stephanie in February 2019. As for why Cooley was Mia in the I Am Upset music video, Drake responded to disappointed fans on Instagram, writing that Cooley thought it was a scam. When he received a phone call about the reunion. Andrea Lewis. Justice for Hazel. Lewis has the distinct honor of starring on Degrassi and co-starring in Cadet Kelly with Hilary Duff, an iconic Disney Channel original. After Hazel received her diploma from Degrassi, Lewis started her own company, Jungle Wild Productions, creating the web series Black Actress and Beyond. Complicated. And on her YouTube channel, Lewis opens up about her time on Degrassi and posts lifestyle videos. Melissa McIntyre. Super serious about her music career, McIntyre's character Ashley Kerwin left the series after season 4, returning later for seasons 6 and 7. McIntyre appeared to have left the acting world after her second goodbye on Degrassi and has a scarce presence on social media. Sponsored links by Tabula. Who is the richest member of the British royal family? Beach Raider. Christina Schmidt. If only Terry could see herself now. A series regular on the first three seasons, Schmidt exited the series after her character was put into a coma by her abusive boyfriend Rick. After leaving the Canadian teen drama, Schmidt continued to have a successful modeling career, and recently was on the cover of fashion magazine in Canada. Growing up, I never thought I was an inspiration to anybody in any way, she told the publication. I never realized that some of these young girls really needed someone to look up to. There wasn't Instagram or Facebook, and the majority of television stars were definitely not as diverse as those you see today, so. Having someone like them on a TV show was huge. This all just started making sense to me years later, though, when they would express how I made such an impact in their lives. She has a son named Orlando and is dating Landon Wackel.
Jake Goldsby. Oh, Toby. After appearing in eight seasons as Ashley's stepbrother, JT's sidekick turned homecoming king, Goldsby went on to graduate from Concordia University. He currently works as a producer and hosts two podcasts, Columbia House Party and Sportsfeld. In October 2019, Goldsby announced he was engaged to his girlfriend Cassie and the pair wed in November 2020. Mike Lobel. It's hard to believe Lobel managed to make troublemaking bully Jay Hogarth so likable by the end of his six-season Degrassi run after he gave Emma gonorrhea at the Ravenand was expelled for his role in Jimmy's shooting. And yet he managed to do it. After his time on Degrassi, Lobel starred on the Canadian teen comedy Really Me and appeared in the TV movie The Music in Me. The 36-year-old currently Rekerson the CBC's detention adventure and was in the band Future Peers until it broke up in December 2019. One of the few co-stars that didn't get a call from Drake for the I Am Upset video, Lobel simply responded by tweeting, I am a little upset. Well played.